Hi Cubies, here's your Alexandra again. Well, yesterday I made a video about this uh, Games Workshop uh, color shards and um, well, I guess there's a big, big need for uh, you guys to discuss this topic about the new colors. Well, <clears throat> let's explain uh, myself a little bit more why I don't uh, want to use uh, the new GW uh, color range and why I also not want to use the um, the old colors of Games Workshop um, further along in my tutorials. Well, first of all, uh, <clears throat> I have always been a fan of uh, GW colors. You can see uh, I've uh, stick to the colors uh, from the beginning on. These pots here are almost 20 years old and uh, they are still in use and the color is still fresh. Um, the quality of the paints have never uh, let me down, so uh, for this matter um, I highly uh, recommend the Games Workshop colors. There's no downside at all. Um, they have a good coverage rate, uh, they uh, do absolutely well for um, uh, art artistic painters like me uh, and also for uh, game um, painting purposes uh, they are absolutely fine. The, uh, <clears throat> the colors are absolutely good. <clears throat> the big problem the people had uh, in the future uh, were the, uh, the price of the colors. For example, uh, this here, uh, this old bottle had a 17.5 milliliter uh, color in it, and uh, since they changed to this pot size, uh, they have always been uh, only 12 milliliter uh, for the same amount of uh, for the same price in it. Um, and uh, since that also. Uh, these colors here had 12 millimeter, uh, milliliter, and also the new ones here have 12 milliliter uh, of volume. So uh, <clears throat> the big discussion uh, was always not the quality of the paints, it was the price of the paint. So you get uh, more color for the uh, same price in, for example, a Vallejo bottle or Reaper paint or whatever. They also uh, always stick to the 17 milliliter uh, pots. But other than that, um, I've, like I said, always uh, stuck to uh, Games Workshop colors for several reasons. Uh, first reason for me was uh, easy availability. I was uh, always, um, it was always very easy uh, for me to walk into a store and buy the Games Workshop colors. There were always a store uh, nearby me and um, I like to buy the colors uh, that I can see. I don't like to order colors. I, I have always a uh, uh, I don't like it. I, I want to see what I'm buying and uh, well, that's a little bit uh, eccentric maybe, but uh, well, so I am. <clears throat> and so over the years I stuck with uh, GW colors, even that they uh, have changed uh, several uh, times the uh, paint pots or the color range itself, but it was always the same color. Uh, it was always the same names of the color and uh, also the colors itself uh, are basically the same. Some colors uh, are deleted, some colors uh, came new uh, into the range, uh, for example the foundation colors were introduced a few years ago, <clears throat> and uh, over the time I uh, get also me a lot of uh, them, and I was quite happy with the, uh, with the product. But now uh, they have completely redone their uh, paint line also with the names. That's, for example, one big thing I cannot understand. Why don't they just uh, have their color range and extended the color range or modified the color range, but still with the old colors? For example, a Dark Angel's Green. It's non-existing anymore. <clears throat> so, all my uh, old paint pots here are for uh, my painting tutorials uh, useless because, well, let's face the facts. Um, I have a lot of uh, subscribers that are uh, fairly new to the hobby and uh, they want really exact measurements of the paints. Uh, they always ask me what paint should I buy, how many drops of this and that. <clears throat> and, uh, for example, if I would continue to do my painting tutorials with an uh, with the old Games Workshop colors, they cannot buy anymore. That uh, that is not helping them at all. So I want to provide a color range in my painting tutorials that um, they can buy and use, so they can reproduce my art. And uh, let's face it, the uh, color transition chart uh, from Games Workshop is basically basically nonsense. It doesn't work at all. <clears throat> they uh, 
the, the, the colors they have uh, put on that chart uh, doesn't work. <coughs> so, and now to the fact why I don't want to use the new colors. Well, um, some of you might have uh, misunderstood my uh, my previous uh, meaning. I don't uh, want to. Um, well, I'm not buying the new uh, color range because of the quality of the paints. Well, like I said, I've always been uh, pleased with the color of the paints. That's not uh, the big issue. <clears throat> I uh, totally doubt, uh, there is no doubt at all that the colors are uh, absolutely good for painting. Otherwise, they wouldn't have um, produced them in the first place. But uh, other than that, and the color range, uh, like I said, are designed to uh, paint in. It's like paint like numbers. They um, have made a, a color range with <coughs> several, uh, several, several blue tones uh, that uh, are always to use uh, exactly in this uh, in this uh, row. And for example, let's see here for the Ultramarine, you have uh, Muckridge Blue, then uh, Drakenhof Nightshade, Altdorf Guard Blue, Kalgar Blue, and um, uh, all that kind of uh, shades and uh, washes. And th th this is uh, the colors are not supporting my paint style. Um, you know me, I am mixing a lot. and. Um, my color scheme is uh, based on, um, yeah, also almost transparent paints. I uh, paint a lot with very thin layers and uh, uh, use the advantage of acrylic paints that they are semi-transparent um, to, to give very nice transitions and very smooth transi transitions. But for that matter, I need really perfect colors, uh, really... Um, Pure colors, I would say. So, for example, um, in the new color range, there is no Dark Angels Green anymore, and also there is no Orchid Shade anymore. Well, <clears throat> I've been asked, uh, what uh, does it mean to to cut a color with gray? Um, let's see, for example, here, this is uh, the color Orchid Shade. It is a dark green tone, yes, it is, and it is uh, slightly off tone. What it means is uh, this is a green tone with gray in it. And you can uh, see it by comparing uh, it with, for example, Dark Angels Green. You see the difference? This is a, a totally bright and, um, well, striking color on its own, even if it is a dark green. Uh, where this color here is, um, well, kind of a, a pastel tone, I would say. So, in the new color range, it seems like uh, they just mixed those two colors. But then you will end up with also a pastel green and not uh, with a pure green. And that's the problem I have. I want for my, uh, for my painting style, I need those pure colors like a pure blue, a pure green and pure yellows and pure reds and, and so on. I need those pure colors, but uh, when I look now at the color chart, um, <laughs> well, not only the color chart itself, even the, the, the pots itself, you, you can determine the colors uh, also uh, only by looking at the pots, and uh, there are no pure tones. It's all cut with gray. They are all uh, meant to be uh, pastel colors and to be uh, highlights on highlights on highlights, but uh, you don't have those, those pure tones. And those are the reasons uh, I don't want to use this color range. I, I don't, like uh, uh, I can say it uh, not enough times, uh, I don't have uh, any doubts that the color is good. The, the covering rate is maybe good, okay, and uh, it's good that they expanded the color range, and it's good to uh, have them to paint armies uh, uh, to... Well, if you want to paint an army and you have always to mix your colors, like I am doing, then um, uh, each miniature looks a little bit different. But with the new pots, okay, then you uh, have your your uh, your base coat, your uh, layering coats, uh, maybe three different uh, highlight layers, and you have your shade, and <clears throat> you can uh, always copy uh, those those styles of painting uh, over and over again, and it is not changing at all. 
So you can basically copy a miniature. But, uh, well, uh, I'm an artist and I paint single miniatures more than uh, whole armies. And I want uh, to have unique miniatures with my own color schemes and uh, with my uh, own vibrant colors. But uh, with a, a GW color range, I cannot uh, create those things. So, for my tutorials, uh, what I will do is uh, the following. I have found on the internet uh, paint pots uh, like the very old Games Workshop colors. Those are here, the hexagon uh, pots, and before that they had round pots. The same pots that the P3 color range uh, has nowadays. I have found those empty pots. And um, mm. the thing is, I really like those pots. They are uh, absolutely perfect and they, they seal 100%. You see, this color is 20 years old and still in perfect condition. I really like those pots. And um, I think I will uh, switch over to uh, Valeo uh, game and model color. Together they have a very uh, big uh, palette of colors also. But I will also switch the pots. So I will uh, take the uh, dropper bottles and uh, refill them into this kind of pots. But uh, then I can still show you uh, the, the color here. This is uh, the Vallejo model color or game color. Uh, this and that uh, uh, I'm using right now. So <clears throat> you can follow still my tutorials and you are able to buy those colors. Not with the uh, GW colors. <clears throat> and like I said, uh, I will still use this uh, old GW colors for my own paintings that I'm not uh, showing you on camera here. When I'm painting, for example, my uh, my Dwarf King's Hold uh, miniatures or uh, <clears throat> when I'm continuing uh, painting my uh, on my Space Marines or all that kind of stuff that uh, I already have a tutorial for, uh, well, <clears throat> I'm not every time painting under a camera. So I hope this uh, clarifies a little bit uh, of uh, well, my reasoning be behind uh, the video yesterday, and uh, I, I don't want to piss off uh, Games Workshop or Games Workshop fans who uh, want to use the colors. <clears throat> I personally, I don't uh, want to buy them, and uh, so we will see uh, in the near future uh, what colors I will uh, finally use then. Until then, you're Alexandra.